Hello my friends! I wanted to make sure that those of you who have done the window blackout covers for your vans or you have put fabric on either side that you understand that it is not going to keep the heat out. So if you are in a situation where I am in this weekend where it is going to be a heat wave and very very hot outside your blackout window covers with fabric on either side or if you've painted them at all the reflectix will not work in heat it will not keep the heat out of your van i am going to do an experiment and see how hot it gets in my van with my window covers on so that you can see that it really isn't going to protect you if you cover your reflectix with anything. So for me, I wanted privacy windows. And I used black fabric on one side so that when I put this up in the window, it, it looks like a tinted window from the outside. And then I have my fabric on the inside, but it's not going to do me any good to have this in my window to keep heat out because I have covered up the reflectix, which is the part that makes it so that it reflects the heat outward or keeps the heat in. So if you have done this to your reflectix, make sure that you understand that it is not going to keep the heat out and protect you in a heat wave. I just want to make sure that you are all aware that that is not how reflectix works. If you cover it or paint it in any way, it is not going to work the way it was intended. It is only going to be for privacy. So I got myself a little thermometer to put here in my van. I have my slider door open and all of the other windows are blocked. Except this window that I'm going to put my, my cover back in. Right now, and with the door open on the side, it is already 89 degrees in here. I'm going to come back out in a half an hour and then an hour and see how hot it is getting in my van with my Reflectix window covers covered up so that you don't end up sleeping in an easy bake oven. I mean, I'm sweet and all, but I don't want to bake to death. All right, see you back in a minute or 30. Woo, I came back out after 30 minutes of putting all of my blackout blinds in and it is rather toasty in here. It has jumped up by 15 degrees in 30 minutes and it is now a toasty 105 in here. It's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes. Maybe not. That's that's a different video for a different time. I'll be back in 30 minutes with clothes on. I'm back. And I still have my clothes on. I know. Disappointed. Anyways, I'm happy to report that the temperature has only gone up by 5 degrees in the last 30 minutes, so I'm gonna guess that the Reflectix is helping a little bit, but not enough to stay safe. Look at that. Holy moly, you guys. I decided I was going to expand my 
experiment and see what would happen if I left my van closed up with my blackout window covers up through the hottest part of the day and see what would happen. And I have a big reality check smacking me in the face along with this massive amount of heat radiating off the pavement. Um, it's hot in here and it is extremely unsafe and I'm really, really, really glad that I canceled my overnight tonight because this isn't okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's hot. That's 132 degrees, my friends. If you want to actually keep the heat out of your van in a heat wave, you are going to have to make sure that it has no fabric and no paint. Just let it do its tin foil, UFO looking reflectix job. Nice and naked, without any decoration or fabric, which I wish I could be doing right now, but that's a different platform and not appropriate for YouTube. Hmm. Anyways, thank you for following along and subscribing. Please leave me comments, say hello, share your experiences. I love to interact with people and um, yeah. You know what time it is. Dance, 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 dance. And we're deodorant. Stay weird, friends. And hygienic.